Kristen will mark this transition as a couple not only by celebrating their love between themselves, but also by celebrating the love between all of us, including the love of their parents, their siblings, extended family, and friends. Without that love today, it would be far less joyous. Paul says this about love in chapter 13 of the first letter to the Corinthians. And you've all probably heard this at one point or other, but I, I want to use this to emphasize the point. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Okay. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. What this says to me is love is an action. Love is more than an emotion. It's an action. It's something that we do for one another. It's something all these people have done by coming here. It's something you've done for all these people by inviting them here. It's you've shown them love. You've shown them respect. And that's what true love really is. It's just kind of sharing that and experiencing that and sacrificing with that. It's not just about, oh, I love you. You know, it's more about we got to. I got to do this. I got to do this for her because I love her. I do it, and I don't even really think about it most of the time. To that point, Paul says, "If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Just doesn't mean anything. Love doesn't mean anything unless it's given. Something is given in it. So I want to have a quick prayer." Lord, as Jake and Kristen pledge themselves to each other, please be with them and bless them that their love will be pure and their vows true. It's in your name I pray. Amen. All right, here's where the business starts. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? <laughs> All right, no. I'm running this show. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> All right, Kristen, do you take Jake to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you have him to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, in sorrow and in joy, from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? I do. She said I do. <laughs> One more to go. Jake, do you take Kristen to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poor, in sorrow and in joy, from this day forward, as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> Speaking of something? Speaker's broke. Right? Yeah. 
is an unbroken circle with ends that have been joined together and it represents your union. It is a symbol of infinity and of your infinite love. When you look at these rings, you are reminded of this moment, your commitment and the love you now feel for each other. This moment. All right. First thing. Pick one. <laughs> All right. Good choice. That other one's not going to fit in. All right. Okay, as you place this ring on Jake's hand, okay. repeat after me. Jake? Jake? I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today. With the pledge to love you today. Tomorrow, tomorrow always, and forever. Always and forever. Got it on? Yep. We're going. Right. Jake, there's only one left. All right. All right. As I re just repeat, okay? Kristen. Kristen. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. <laughs> All right. Before these witnesses. There we go. On it. All right, before all these witnesses, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Woo! All right, for the first time anywhere... Jacob and Kristen Steinley.